Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel and welcome to another episode of Microsoft Flight Simulator and today we are taking the Discos 2 glider back up. Um, we are just outside of Las Vegas, a small little airport uh, just to the northwest of it and I figure this would be a fun day just to sort of take the glider up and uh, go do some sightseeing. If you are interested in acquiring any of my Overkill's tutorial guides for Microsoft Flight Simulator, please consider joining me on Patreon. Patreon subscribers level tier 2 and above have access to all of my guides, as well as any future updates and future guides that will be coming down the road. Link to Patreon can be found in the description below. Alright. That reminded me I had some sound changes I needed to make in OBS. Okay, so hopefully that's better. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and get this show on the road. So we picked the max, and now we're gonna go launch. Oh, oh, oh. Oof. <laughs> Come on, up, 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 up. Looking for about 45, looking for about 45. Follow the arc, follow the arc, follow the arc, follow the arc. Get that gear up. Pull, 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 pull. Been really good so far. I think there's the break. All right. Let's try not to wing stall it. Keep the wind off the nose there. It's so much more sluggish than I remember. It's requiring a lot of input on the control stick. Which isn't a bad thing. I haven't flown it, I think, in the last two patches. I think 2.2 .2 was the last time I flew this. And I think it's had a couple more since then. I think we're like 2.4, 2.04. I can't remember how they're doing their updates, but... Definitely a blast to fly this. There's just something different about it. It's it's significantly more challenging. And I know that many, many, many people have spoken up and said that the uh, the, the thermals um, that are currently in the way they're currently implemented in Microsoft Flight Simulator are almost too easy, which is scary to me because, like, <laughs> it terrifies the crap out of me, quite frankly. But, um, you know, for... For a glider, I feel like for someone who has never flown a glider and has never had any glider experience before Microsoft Flight Simulator, I feel like they did pretty good. But that's just, again, that's with no professional background. That's with no uh, real world uh, experience to compare it to. I'm looking for anything, guys. I don't. We're not getting much here. Trying to get closer to these hills over here. I'm really worried if we don't catch something soon to circle up, we're not going to catch anything. Let me make sure that volume's still up. Yeah, that's maxed. Okay. I mean, if we're going to crash, we're going to crash together. You know what I mean?
We're just not catching anything, man. Come on. Oh, don't wing stall. Don't wing stall too much. I mean, we are getting nothing here. I forgot to turn my nav lights on. Not looking good, guys. I'm not doing well this time. I just, I tipped that wing over way too much again. Goodness gracious. All right, let's try again. I don't know why it's setting it. This is what pisses me off, all right, about Microsoft Flight Simulator. Oh, why isn't real time checked? Never mind. I'll take that back. That wasn't their fault. I thought real time was set. I have no idea why that wasn't right. Let's just try it with live weather. I was trying one of one of their weather settings. And you know, I've noticed that I actually always have trouble with it. So I'm I'm not I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong with theirs, but Okay, now let's get those nav lights on. Let's do a connect. Man, it is so loud. Alright, off we go. Oh, all out, all out. You got it. Here we go. I'm just going to keep trying this till I can figure it out, but I'm not finding any thermals. Maybe this is just a bad place to glide, but... I mean, like I said, we're just northwest of Vegas. It's not like it's a cool area to fly in as far as temperature. But also, I mean, again, there's that the big elephant in the room. You know, it's not exactly like I know what I'm doing, so. You know, I'm curious about something. Give me a second here, guys. I need to close. <sighs> Make sure Spad wasn't interrupting things there. Sometimes what Spad.next will do is it'll actually be working, but you won't see the animation in the cockpit. I didn't close Spad, so... I'll make sure that wasn't causing any kind of weird behavior. I want to stay close to the airport until we can find some sort of thermals to use. I know that the best places is like canyons and things like that. And there's a couple of really good maps that actually came with this particular aircraft. 
or airports that came with this particular aircraft that we could use. Um, I like, I like challenging myself. It's one of the, that's one of the more enjoying parts about flight simulation for me is in flight simulation, we can, we can make the mistakes you can't make in the real world. You know, we can, we can try the things that, that probably wouldn't be ideal for this particular type of aircraft in the real world. And, uh, so, you know, that's why I like to get up and, and try this kind of stuff out. I know this is clearly not the ideal weather for this. We're obviously having some problems and I'm aware that I'm struggling a little bit. Um, but, uh, you know, that's, that's what makes it fun. That's, I am very much a learner by doing, you know what I mean? Um, it's just, it's one of those things that, that I enjoy and no, it's not always the smartest. Like I said, we're clearly, uh, clearly having some issues here today. Although we seem to be doing okay at the moment. I'm sitting here watching our altitude and we have a steady climb. Just watching our vertical velocity indicator, and for the most part, we're staying on the higher side. Oh, I never noticed the cars down there before. I thought I had all the ground traffic turned off. That's actually kind of cool. This is a really pretty area. You know, and I don't even remember the ICAO of where we picked back there. So I just want to do a nice, easy circuit around the airport here. Just sort of get familiar with the aircraft again. There's definitely been a lot of changes. This thing is significantly harder than I remember the last time that I flew it. And at the same token, it's much more enjoyable than last time I flew it. Like, I enjoy the challenge. I don't mind when when things don't go my way. You know, I really don't. Like I said, that's that's how you learn. So I feel like we're in it now, right? But see, and then when I try to turn to circle it, we, we lose it. And last time, man, we lost altitude so fast. Like it just wing stalled instantly. I think I'm I'm definitely overturning. I think I'm trying to turn that, that funnel too tight. Like I'm really getting worried about my uh, ascent rate and I'm also watching our airspeed. Like I know I'm flirting with Stall speed. I think that last one I stalled it and wing stalled it, if that makes sense. I think I got too slow and I dropped the wing too far. There's definitely an art to this. I need to I need to get in touch with my uncle. My uncle uh had his glider's license for a long time. Let's see if maybe he can give me some tips in the simulation. He's supposed to be out here in Tucson next weekend, so maybe I can get him to stop by and show me a thing or two. Maybe I can, some tips and tricks, maybe I'll be able to share with you guys. This is definitely an area that I do not claim to have any proficiency in. This is, this is just for fun. Okay, I think we're going to try to steer back towards the airport here. That's where I start to get nervous. <laughs> it's just, I'm not good with it. I'm just not. Gotta call it, call it as it is. Doesn't do me any good to BS and pretend to be better at something than I am. So I'm, I'm staying close to home. 
What do they do when someone just like runs into that scenario? They just drive a truck out to wherever they are and pick it up kind of thing? I mean, I guess you wouldn't have much choice, right? But I wonder how often that happens. Like if it happens more often than not kind of thing, you know, or more than more than what you would think it does, where you have this great plan to fly somewhere in a glider and it just doesn't work out and you have to land it in, you know, Joe's, you know, cornfield kind of thing. I still like the psychedelic uh, paint job on this one, though. That's still pretty cool. Now, if I dump... Can you see the water dumping? Ah, you totally can. That's funny. If I'm not mistaken, that should make it climb like a rocket for a minute, right? Does it really hold that much water? Are we front? No, we're still dumping water. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's kind of a cool shot. Okay, I'll quit messing around now. I don't think I'm going to make that turn around, so I'm just going to... Careful. <gasps> I keep wanting to dip that wing so much. That just like never turns off, does it? I wonder if that's just like an effect that won't go away. Or does it really carry that much water in it? <laughs> my airspeed. way too steep for this glider. Worst case scenario, we'll try a go around in it. Hold the wings. Hold the wings. Sure, the intention here isn't to drag them across the ground. Ooh. God, I feel like that would be so violent. 
All right, guys. Well, that was another flight in the Discuss 2 Premium version. This is an incredibly fun aircraft. It's extremely challenging. You put, find yourself in a pickle real quick, especially if you were like myself and you really don't know what you're doing. Um, I just kind of try to wing it. I know we have this guy here, but honestly, it just doesn't quite make sense to me. So I get it here, right? So here's your thermals. You're supposed to circle the thermal until you get to the altitude that you want. And then you work your way back down, find, you know, wind shears going up the mountains, use those. But I just, I couldn't catch anything today. Um, I just, I felt like no matter what I was doing was not working well. Maybe the ballast levels is something that I need to worry about, you know, as far as, you know, messing with them. I just, I don't understand enough about that. I'll be honest. Um, but these are definitely... Let's see here, winch, 150 kilometers per hour. Yeah, that's about what we were doing. We're just gonna have to keep trying at it or keep trying it. Um, I'm definitely not gonna give up on this aircraft. I think it's a ton of fun, I really do. Um, but, uh, and if you guys haven't given this a shot, there is a freeware version. I'll try to remember to put a link to that as well down in the description. And then there's the payware version, which will definitely be there. Um, but I highly recommend you guys give this a shot. If you're like myself and you have yet to try any kind of glider simulation or gliders in real world, um, uh, it's a whole different animal. It's a completely different animal. And, and, you know, for the longest time, I'm going to be honest and I feel silly for it, but I sort of always thought, you know, gliders is, ah, that's kind of silly. It sounds kind of lame, you know, blah, blah it's not it's uh it's extremely challenging it's extremely uh eye-opening if you will uh you really uh get a much greater an understanding and appreciation for what it takes to manage a glider effectively i mean clearly as you guys can see we crashed once um and that was terrible and then i mean really i i have to call this a failed flight i really didn't do well on this flight i didn't uh obviously find the right spots of where i needed to be in order to maintain flight in the aircraft and it just it really got the best of me uh to the point where we had to bring it back um i really was starting to get worried i was hoping once we got out over those mountains over there that things were going to change and maybe i was going to figure this out and, and start catching some thermals or some sort of wind shear that was going to allow me to pick it up i think we caught the the, the wind going up the side of the mountain i think we caught that a few times back over there but it just it wasn't enough where i understood how to stay in it because every time i tried to you know make the left turn or right turn to come back around and do it again well then obviously uh we started descending and so i was losing everything i was gaining so it's a very complex thing to fly uh there's a lot of things to pay attention to all at once and a lot of things to manage very very carefully so if you have yet to give gliding a shot i highly recommend it guys it's uh it's definitely an experience uh, that's been a lot of fun to, to try to figure out uh, this is just one of many flights and we will definitely be back in this aircraft as always guys let me know what you guys think in the video down in the uh, comments field below stay safe and healthy and i'll see you in the next one